Klebsiella. They are short, plump, straight, gram negative roots and they are usually found as commensal in human intestine and as saprophyte in soil. The genus Klebsiella has two species Klebsiella pneumoniae, they are also called Fredlandius bacillus, and Klebsiella oxytoca. Klebsiella are non motile and capsulated. They are lactose fermenters. Then pathogenesis and clinical features. Klebsiella pneumonia has three subspecies. First is Klebsiella pneumonia subspecies pneumonia. They frequently colonize or offerings of hospitalized patients. And they cause lobar pneumonia, urinary tract infections, then meningitis in neonates and also septicemia and pyogenic infections. Then Klebsiella pneumonia subspecies auxina it causes atrophic rhinitis. Third is Klebsiella pneumonia subspecies rhinoscleromatis. It causes rhinoscleroderma. It is the condition in which chronic granulomatous hypertrophy of nose occurs. Then lab diagnosis. First about gram staining. On gram staining, we get short, plump, straight with gram negative rods. And on culture on McConkey agar. It produces large dome shaped mucoid sticky pink colored lactose fermenting colonies. These are the lactose fermenting colonies. Then biochemical identification. First about ICUT test. That is, in door test we get negative result and in citrate test we get positive result. Then urease test also we get positive result and in TSA that is triple sugar iron agar we get acid bar acid with the gas without H2S production. Then about VP test that is Vargas Prescott test we get positive result and in methylene red test we get negative result. Then about treatment. Antibiotics are used for the treatment of Klebsiella pneumonia. Then commonly used antibiotics are ambicillin, salbactam, piperacillin etc.